Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Back again with Madden NFL 2003. Continuing the team and roster breakdowns in this game for the point of seeing who are the best players on each team, where are their strengths, and how can you organize the depth chart to the best of their ability on a, of a team. And also, I will take a look at playing a game. You'll choose the team I play against and look at the team's playbook and give my analysis on that. I'm going to try to get through the roster portion a little quicker than I have been. So let's see how it goes. First of all, we got the quarterback position on the Arizona Cardinals. And Jake Plummer is your starting quarterback. And uh, we got a rookie Josh McCown here. Not looking too good with that 55 overall. And then Chris Greeson. So looks like Plummer 62 is some pretty good mobility. Uh, that's almost scrambling in this version of Madden. Uh, McCown's just a little bit mobile. Let's take a look at the rest of the attributes. Strength doesn't matter too much as a quarterback. Plummer's got the best awareness here with 73, 89 stamina. He's got a 67 acceleration, so uh, pretty decent to run away from some slow defensive tackles, the ends. And throw power is good with Plummer, 88, 84 for McCown, accuracy, 82 with Plummer. Not the best, uh, Josh McCown, 72, but as long as you keep Plummer in there, you'll have a pretty solid quarterback. And just taking a look at the rest, Plummer's important to this team. And toughness, so he'll recover from injuries quicker. Let's take a look at the halfbacks. So at halfback here, you have Thomas Jones, who played on the Chicago Bears before. And this game is on the Cardinals. Not looking too good. You got Josh Scobie, Marcel Ship, Damian Anderson. Looks like you have a pretty bad uh, core of running backs here. So... We'll take a look. Looks like we'll be mostly looking at Thomas Jones. We'll see if anyone else has something to offer. But Jones is pretty slow in this. 84 speed. 63 strength. Agility is not bad at 86. 94 in stamina, which is very good for him. 84 acceleration. He has decent hands at 68. Um, 72 carry, so we won't fumble well it's not really that good so these guys will fumble 79 jump it's not going to be jumping over the line 79 break tackle it's under 80 not great and none of them are really great blockers and there you go so poor halfbacks on the cardinals but you're going to leave in jones fullbacks also not good um, we'll go through them real quick. So, Makovica and McKinley. Uh, neither of them can catch that great. Break tackle 76. That's all right. And their pass block run block is right where you expect it with, uh, oh, Brennan. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Good to see you on here. That's the first time someone's actually uh, put through one of those, so I appreciate that. Um, so hopefully you like the, the Madden videos I've been doing. So I plan on getting through all of them before, uh, before the New Year's over. All right, so 84 injury, 85 toughness. And there you go. Let's take at the wide receiver. Take a look at the wide receivers. Hopefully they're better. What's up with you, Brennan? Okay, so finally you got a star here on the offense, and it's David Boston. Uh, then you got Frank Sanders, Marte Jenkins, Arnold Jackson, Jason McAdley, and Brian Gilmore. So. Boston's going to be a guy you're going to feature on this offense. Get it to the ball. Get the ball to him as much as you can. 
Jenkins got good speed as a third wide receiver. So 93 speed for Boston, 64 strength. That's strong for a receiver. 85 awareness, 90 agility, 96 stamina. His acceleration is great at 95. Catching the ball, really your best options are Boston and Sanders. The other guys are all under 70, which is extremely weak. Bored on a Friday night. Yep, I was looking for something to do too, and this is what I'm doing tonight. Uh, 90 catch, so yeah, throw to those two guys, carrying the ball. Boston will fumble the least. 90 jump for Boston. He has really good break tackle at 67 for a receiver. Um, so far, he's looking pretty much like the total package here. It's very important to this team. Not going to get injured as much and will recover quick. What's up, Sean? How's it going? So tight ends, you do have a good one on this team, which you need because there's not uh, <laughs> you're about to stream. Uh, okay, you'll go after me. Yeah, I'll probably be done around a little after 11. So I won't be too long here. Uh, Freddie Jones, 84, 62 speed, 75 strength. 79 awareness, 69 acceleration, 87 stamina. Pretty good catch at 77, 75 carry, break tackle, pretty solid for tight end, 70. So this is good because we'll give you a third option on offense. Um, so I would recommend on their offense if formations to run more too wide with a tight end because of their personnel. What's up, James Bond? You still at work? All right. Well, Slapshot Sean said he's going to be on after 11, so you get to see him. All right, let's take a look at the left tackle. <laughs> He'll be ready to party at that point. All right. Well... They'll be looking forward to he hearing from you. LJ Shelton, 73 overall, 37 speed, 93 strength. That's really good. He's got good strength. His awareness is pretty low, but he makes up for it in strength. And let's just look where we need to look for these guys. 82 pass block, 83 run block. That is very solid. No real weakness there. It's not a bad left tackle. He's very slow, though, 37. Good left guard here in Pete Kendall. He's, he's also slow. Never seen my hair that short. Well, it, it lasts this way for a few, you know, for a few weeks, and then I start rocking the hat because it gets a little sloppy. I don't get that many haircuts, probably once every three months. 93 strength for Kendall, 86 awareness, 89 agility, 65 stamina, 97 acceleration. Good pass block and good run block for him. Dishman, you're not going to be putting in unless you have to. All right, so, so far so, so good on the line here. And uh, Grudadaria, is that how you say his name? Looks like good center. Starkey not going to put in 91 strength, 80 awareness. I'm going to look at the awareness when you know the computer is going to be controlling them. 68 acceleration. Run pass block 83, 80 run block. That is solid. Yes, we're looking at the cards here. All right, so, so far pretty good on the line, and you got another good right tackle here in Leonard Davis. He's at 97 strength, incredible there. 71 stamina, 91 acceleration. That's really fast for a guard. Um, and he's, he's incredible at pass block and run block, both in the 90s. Yeah, he's really good right guard. And right tackle, 
So this is uh, what's up, John Stevenson? <laughs> Put the hat back on. Uh, yeah. So Clement had seventy four overall. He's also a ninety two strength. He got a strong offensive line, like physical strength wise rating. Uh, they're all in the nineties, pretty much. 60 acceleration another solid 82-84 I would say their offensive line is a strength even though you got a couple guys in the 70s they don't have any weakness so good good offensive line for the Cardinals all right let's take a look at their defense left ends are terrible not going to spend too much time here it looks like you're going to leave in Wakefield even though he's a 56 speed. So that's what I'm saying. Like the quarterbacks, they can run away. <laughs> like even Plummer on this team, 62. He can run away from a 56 easily. That's why some of the guys in the 60s are scramblers. 70 tackling, that's not good for an end. Yeah, he's he's definitely a weakness on the end. Um, just giving the Cardinals real quick an uh, offensive rating just going into the game. I would say it's solid. Offensive line is good. You got two good receivers. Um, running back's a weakness. Quarterback solid. Uh, it's It's formidable. I'm looking forward to using it, to be honest with you even though it's not the strongest it's it's a pretty average um offense but with david boston that that gives you something to look forward to using them yeah so you guys think about who you want the cardinals play against uh their ends so here you got an opportunity he's much faster i I would say speed is one of the most important ratings in Madden. 72 around the corner is pretty good. So we're going to have to look to see if we're going to leave in Von den Bosch because I would like to put in that 72. 78 strength. Let's see. Awareness is lower. Obviously, here he's going to be a rookie. That happens a lot. Rating players in this game without experience. Uh, what's my favorite song in this? That's a good question. Um, there's a lot of good alternative songs. I'll get back to you on that. I think it's probably Seether Fine Again. It's probably the one I enjoy the most. But there's a lot of music at the time that wasn't even really out yet. Made the 98 Cardinals for the historic teams in Madden 04. Oh, that's cool. All right, tackling. So he's a much better tackler. 64 is really terrible at the end position for tackling. I don't know. So this is going to be a judgment call, I would say, between these two guys. But I really like the speed around the end, considering the other end is so slow. It would be good to have a guy in the 70s play against the Steelers. What's up, Patrick? The epidemic walk away. There you go. <laughs> Defensive tackle. Um, so it looks like they have one solid rookie and the rest of them are bad overall. So let's take a quick look through them. 60s is what you expect from a defensive tackle. 48s just really slow. They're, they're all 80s in strength. Uh, acceleration's good for Bryant. He looks like he might have some value. The tackling, though, is it's okay. But still, you don't want your defensive tackles to be in the 70s. These should be the best tacklers on the team. You don't want uh, running backs breaking tackles of your defensive line. Just finish out here the rest of the ratings. But yeah, weak weak defensive uh defensive front. <laughs> Love this game, yes. Me too, that's why I keep playing it. Oh yeah, you called it. 
Raynock Thompson. Uh, so he's not overall good, but I like his 75 speed, 69 strength. Woods is, you're not going to put him in over Thompson. Uh, he's got a 49 catch. He's not going to be picking too many balls off. His tackling's low. He's far from a good linebacker, but at least he's not slow. That's as much as I'll say. He'll still root for me. I appreciate that. Ronald McKinnon, middle linebacker. So they got two slow middle linebackers. Let's see what makes McKinnon better than Rutledge, but he's a, he's a stronger guy, better awareness, agility's lower. I don't think that matters too much as you, at your middle linebacker position, especially only seven difference. Better stamina, 65 acceleration. His catch is a, is a better, 10 rating better. So he's definitely the better... Uh, Linebacker 94 tackling that's very good so if you get there with this 68 speed you'll be making those tackles so pretty solid middle linebacker looking at the other side I see something I really like here in this rookie LeVar Fisher 80 speed um, that's really good for a linebacker. I want to get him on the field. Let's see where his rating differs from Fredrickson. Because he's his competition. Stamina is better on Fisher. Acceleration is much faster. He doesn't have the best hands. Uh, let's see. The tackling's lower, but I'm for that much more speed, I'm willing to take the lesser tackle. Tackle rating for sure. So that's, that's one change I'll make. I'll put in LeVar Fisher as a rookie. So corners. You only got one solid good corner. And the rest of it um, are really bad. So whew. we'll see how the safeties look. But it might be a lot of 4-3 defense with this. Def with these defensive backs. Okay, so 88 speed for Starks, 85 for Barrett. We're both 5'10. You know, that's something you look at more at the DBs to see if they can guard the bigger wide receivers. Good stamina for Starks, 96, and he just, he's got some hands. So Starks will be your playmaker here out of the cornerbacks. He's got good jump at 89 as well. 66 tackling, Barrett's tackling is very low. Hill's got better tackling, still not good though. So yeah, they rate him like how you should be rated in, in Madden 2003 and then 2004 is when they they did the ratings boost where it makes it more uh, equals the playing field and doesn't spread the guys out as much. Sean saying play the Saints. All right, so safeties, it's good to see a really good safety here in Kwame Lasseter. We got, he's 92 overall, 87 speed, 66 strength, great agility, good awareness at 86, 95 stamina, accelerations, he's got good hands at 72, jump is okay. This guy's jump is better, but 73 tackle, so that's could be higher, but I mean, he's close to the total package here at free safety. You can't, you can't really uh, be too mad about what they have to offer here, especially after seeing their cornerbacks. And then Adrian Wilson on the other side, he's only one year pro, which is why he's Rating's not as up, but he's fast, 88. They got good, two good, fast safeties. When they're in the high 80s, that's good. 59 strength, 57 awareness, 84 agility. Not the best hands, 59, but he can still pick them off. 86 acceleration, good jump back there. Batting down balls. 
Solid tackling, 76. So the bad corners are made up for with two, one really good safety and one solid safety. And I would say his speed is a big advantage here. He's not slow. Yeah, the ratings jump is huge. I mean, a lot of it does have to do with awareness, but they made guys that have no business being as high as they are, like in the 60s and 70s in Madden 2004, where in this one they get rated. Like if you're just a guy on the team that doesn't play much, you're going to get the 43 rating. So you got Martin Gramatica's brother, Bill Gramatica, 76 overall. Let's just look at what matters with him. Great kick power at 90 and good kick accuracy at 85. Punter is really good. Scott Player. And he's got the uh, 90 and 92. The Cardinals probably needed a good punter. Sean's saying Adrian Wilson went to Maryville. High School, Northwest Indiana. Sean's busting out the big Indiana stuff tonight. Okay, so that rounds up the Arizona Cardinals. And let's get into a game. You know, I was blowing in NBA Live 95. I bought that at the game store like a couple weeks ago. At video games then and now in Hardwood Heights. You don't have to wear a mask in there. I like it. It's a, it's a regular old retro store. It's been in business for quite a while. Um, but I couldn't get it to work. And then I'm like, man, do I even want to look at these graphics right now? Like, I'd rather be playing PlayStation 2. So here I am breaking down the Cardinals, continuing this series. But maybe I'll get that NBA Live 95 working soon. So I saw Steelers in the chat. I saw Saints. So I'm going to go Cardinals. Let's see how the Saints wouldn't be too bad of a matchup. Steelers might outclass me. Let's look real quick about that. Yeah, Steelers are much better. So... I don't have an objection to the Saints if that's what you guys are looking at seeing. I don't think, uh, I think Sean's expecting Drew Brees. If Drew Brees is even in this game, then he would be on the Chargers, not the Saints. We could, we could look real quick if he's in the game. It might be like a rookie or something in this game. Let's take a quick look since the topic came up. Look at the rosters. Backwards through the teams. Yeah, Drew Brees is back up on the Chargers. So he's already got one year under his belt. Thanks, Benzino. I don't usually use the Madden cards. I never really was into them because I would play online and you couldn't use them. So I guess I would just stick against the Saints. We'll see how it goes. Oh man, gotta reset these teams. And here we go, McGinnis. See how the playbook looks. And should be a good one. Saints usually got some good speed. I'm 
don't know how committed to the running game I'll be with only 84 max speed running back. I think uh, with a quarterback with a pretty good arm and a receiver like Boston, that's where I'm going to try to attack this game. I just realized I didn't edit the depth chart, so I'll do that before this game gets started. Here we go. When you have a safety like this in your team, it allows well, you to do so much more. You can move them all over the field and put them in spots to either drop back in coverage or to play the run. <laughs> Preez isn't so in the game. The offense, I mean, he's not in this game. He, he's on the Chargers. Break it up. It shouldn't be any <laughs> Thanks, Benzino. So, yeah, there was only a few depth chart changes to make. So I'll make those real quick here. Uh, the offensive line was good. I just want to put this speed guy in. Dennis Johnson on the other end. And then for the linebacker, put in Fisher. So we're adding some extra speed here to the defense. And then kick returner. Got Jenkins, probably Wilson's up there. I'll put him in, even though he's a starting strong safety. And then we're good to go. 89's pretty solid. And welcome back. I don't care for the Saints either. Um, why do I like this more than Madden 0506? So. One reason is the ratings. They're not. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. There's less disparity because of the way they did the ratings in this game. And then this is the one I like to say, like 2001 to 2003 are like their own progression. This is the best out of those three. And uh, it's bef it's just good core football gameplay before they started adding in the extra features that can create an unfair advantage for your opponent if they master those techniques. Uh, you know, like the hit stick, the truck stick, the playmaker, which made it really easy to just change the direction of the play on the fly without your defense being able to call a quick audible. Uh, so those sorts of things. Plus, Madden 04, it just, like, the uh, the pass defense got too good. A lot of interceptions in that game. The defense closes the windows and the zones very quickly. And it just seems like it's more defensive oriented, which I do think they cleaned up in 05 and 06. But it's still like those are their own group of games. Which I like 05 the best out of those three. And it looks like they found a hole in the zone there. First and 10. Yeah, Brooks is the starter. The deuce. The deuce is getting loose. I think Madden 04, like, I did a poll on this channel maybe a year ago or so to see what people thought the best Madden was in this era of PS2, Xbox, GameCube. And they said Madden 2004. I really don't think so. Even though it's really fun to use Vic in that game, he's on the cover. And the Falcons, they got Peerless Price, he's a good receiver. But, man, he's just carving up his own. I'm going to have to start going man a little bit if this is how it's looking. Uh, but, yeah, I, th I think the, the player ratings, I don't like them. 
He made everyone too close together in the ratings. And like it's just said, the, the pass defense seems like it's very much uh, a strength of every team. Whereas in this one, I feel like it was balanced. Madden 2001 was very easy to throw uh, deep balls. Even though there were a lot of interceptions, it still made it playable. Like It wasn't all offense, but it was easy to throw bombs. 0-2, a little bit better on the bomb. The bombs, but still very pass friendly. And then in this game, they cleaned up all the animations. The players run the routes properly. And this game just feels very polished overall. Oh, come on. Wilson makes the stop at the 16 yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Yeah. Yeah, he gets a lot of flack for that, Michael Vick, and there's no, there's no excuse for what he did, but I mean, it's like people eat animals all the time, so I don't know what they think happens to get him to their plate, like they're all dying and getting killed nasty. Like, why do I think the media really, I know, I saw that Aaron Rodgers brought that up when he was talking on Pat McAfee's podcast. Uh, it's a it's a misdirect, you know, that it's something it's just there's a lot that goes into it. First of all the reason it's even called that at first is so it sounds ridiculous. But really they just don't want people thinking about what the earth might be. So it's a it's a distraction, and then he <laughs> in Rogers' analysis of what is going on with him. I mean, I agree with pretty much everything he says, but then they're they're like also trying to create more division and put other people in a certain category. So it's just a mess. I mean, anytime you're watching any of these people who get featured on the main screens of TVs, like there's there's always some t type of hidden agenda. I think it's more and more obvious the more you pay attention. You did a seventh grade project on Deuce McAllister. That's cool. I don't hate it. ESPN NFL 2K5. I think the... I think it's a great game. I just didn't play it a ton when it came out. And I'll admit that... Presentation-wise, it's unmatched in this era. Oh, come on. David Boston, that's what you got to do. Just that. They got other shotgun options. I like this. But then again, like I said, they don't have good receivers, so kind of defeats the purpose on some of these. Just try a counter. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. That's that four linemen too well. and three linebackers lined up defensively. Oh, well. Found found a gap somewhere in there. At the 31. So that's a gain of about five. All right, second and five coming up here. Thanks, Benzino. I mean, the world's divided like you've never seen it before. People in mindset, it's like it's going to be hard to uh, get along with everybody. It's if you don't keep it with shallow topics. 
Plummer sets up. Dropping back. Looking for a receiver. Rolls out. Oh, juked him. Jake Plummer, see what a 62 speed can do for you. Replay. I'm gonna replay that juke. Oh, they didn't want to do it. He's too good. So we have first and ten here. I'm going for it. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. He's looking to pass. Surveying the field. Passing oh, right. pass interference. Pass does not find his target. It was an easy pass. How the heck do you miss it? No play. It wasn't there. Right. I'm running play action, which could be a mistake. It usually sucks in that. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Jakey the Snakey with the... Back foot side armor. Just throw it up to David Boston. Being stingy with the replays. Shake and bake, tell gay good nights. And it's on its way. The point is I think Jake Plummer was always kind of underrated when he was in the NFL. He could play with the best of them at times. And he never really just got talked about that much as the top quarterback. But He never really was a top quarterback because he wasn't consistent and he wasn't always on good teams. But he can definitely play. Through their passing game, it's first and ten. Ball on their own twenty-eight. <laughs> Jim Jumbo Jumbo. I don't know. It's a tough call. He's probably uh, he's probably for it. You know. He likes pharmaceuticals. Anything. <laughs> He'll probably shoot any needle into his body if, if given an opportunity. And it looks like they'll mark it at the forty-three. I can't wait to not live in the Chicagoland area one day. The uh, geez, he's just he's just shooting in the zone so easily. Stallworth doesn't have the best hands, but he caught that one. I'm gonna try underman. Impressing the receivers. They line up in the I formation. McAllister looking for Lassiter stopped him for his third tackle. Yeah, I mean it's I'm just getting sick of like driving down a busy street in Chicago and every Walgreens and Jewel and grocery store is like, hey, we got a COVID shot and we got a flu shot. For free, you want to come get them? Do the best thing ever. Forget free apples or two for one avocado, or two for three avocado or whatever. That's all they care about pushing now. Like I thought you guys sold food, not needles for free. Man, Deuce McAllister is giving me a problem. You're from Chicago. For the score. He just Living the dream here. On that one. Nobody was gonna I mean, I would consider Indiana. The thing about Indiana is I just don't know what I like about it. But, I mean, I can grow to like it. And it's up. And he What's up, Tim? A good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. I don't know what to say. Deuce McAllister's plowing through my defense. Besides for the, there's really no good tacklers on the team. Besides my middle linebacker. The Cardinals will start this drive from the 24. Get that single back big. So they have first and ten here. You grew to like it? Yeah, I could do the same. I do what I want here. That's a good luxury. 
I mean, I do what I want here too, but it's just the stimuli that I'm subjected to on a daily basis that pisses me off. Right. A single cover, Boston again. Oh, if that safety didn't come, that's a touchdown. There's a, there's a replay. Jakey Plummer. Oh, he's obedient. He'll do whatever they tell him. Boston really looking like a star so far. I don't like any of these plays. So they have first and ten here. Ball on Indiana the Indiana has the dunes. The drink there. That's how the play actions usually work. Corn, drinking corn and beans. Oh man, it was single coverage. If you're the defense, you don't want to get flagged for interference and let them keep this drive going. They've done a good job the last I mean, if they're gonna keep doing that, it's hard not to keep going back to that play. Face with a long third down play here. Looks like they're going to finally double cover him. Looking downfield. Doesn't matter. Passing right. Oh, get in there. Looks like they pressed him. Saints looks like they they have some deficiencies in. The, in their uh, defensive backfield. So it's Surprised they didn't give him a touchdown. Jake Plummer gets in there. And there's plenty of time left in the second half. saying just not liking Toronto up there in the chat. Grammatical. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. That was rough. Well, thankfully, it wasn't the end of the half when I could just sneak it in. So it wasn't a big deal. We've got a close one going here. Until we do, we do. Do. We'll probably just see throws from them here on out. <laughs> First and ten. Ball on their own twenty-six. All right, I'm playing the quarter defense, trying to slow down this offense. This defense does end up working well in this game. Pumps, pump faking, rolling out to the right. Brooks with the pass. But we had no one going in, and they're still turning me up. The 47-yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Brooks looking like a magician out here. Only one man back. He's going to throw. He's looking. All day throwing triple coverage. And there we go. I talked about Starks. He had the hands. He was going to have to be a playmaker. I'll tell you, these interceptions are all about timing. And he timed that jump for I'm going back to the back to the well until they could stop me. They just keep single cover in Boston. <laughs> Jake the Snake, he calls him. Just abusing the Saints with David Boston. First and ten. Let's see, will they actually double cover him? 
They do. Let's do it. Throw it anyways. All right. I'm getting greedy. I got to switch it up. I'm looking for the outs that I like to run with these other teams, and I'm just not finding them. I don't like this double outs play. It's not going to spread them out good enough. I guess I could try this slant on the left side. Plumber gets set. He'll go with a pass. Rolling out to his right. Oh, I had Sanders. The intended head of lane there. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in. He got the ball out of there. Third and long. Do they gamble here or just keep it on the ground? With the score being as it is, it might just be better playing it safe. That's There's some outs decision. here, but I don't think they're deep enough. Third and ten, coming up. There are plans to hit Sanders on this corner. But oh man, threw the pick right back. I didn't like the defensive pursuit. So I saw an opportunity to throw the tight end, and obviously didn't make it. Man, I'm just throwing bombs to Boston. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the heat this time. Alright, that worked. So I like this man lock here because you got safeties back and then I can bring the blitz with my QB spy, which I will do. Which is not helping. Stink toilet plumber pass. I thought he was kind of open, but yeah, he just threw the pick. I don't think it was the worst throw like ever. On the carry. Spindle. And he stops at the 29. Maybe I'll just and let it go to the half. With the running game. And they'll get ready to punt it away as we near the end of the half. We got Slapshot Sean coming on for an encore stream. It's fourth down and three yards to go. <sighs> So at halftime, it's anyone's game with the score. Oh, I skipped the cheerleader. Sorry about that. We'll go back to the play on the field. I was trigger happy on the X. Going in to kick this one off. <clears throat> so I get the ball here. I had an opportunity to go up. Blew it. Jenkins will bring this one upfield. The Cardinals take over on offense at the 31. Let's check in quickly with Melissa. I asked Coach Pugetis about any halftime adjustments. He said in a close game like this, intensity level isn't any Don't anything forget the good. offensive line is but good. He told the players they need to focus on the little things and execute on every play. Oh, Thomas Jones, a helmet popper. With the tackle at the 37. Yeah, I don't want to get anyone hurt. Don't want to... Muff a punt return, something like that. There's only like 11 seconds, anyways. Where did I find those receiver outs? I think they were in single back somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Second and four coming up here. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He's looking. Bush gets it done. Just enough mobility here from Plummer. Wasn't where I was looking to go, but I saw the guy come in the flat. And the receiver looked back just at the right time. Second 
So they have first and ten. <laughs> yeah, I thought we settled that when I went and looked at the Chargers roster and showed you that Drew Brees is on the Chargers. Single coverage. Boston just tearing up that little DB on the Saints. Just having a one star offensive player like this can make all the difference. I feel like I'm throwing those at a good time. Right when the DB's like trying to turn around and break on it, but by that time David Boston's already got him beat and he's way taller. Seems like the Cardinals have had that for a long time. Like they've always had a strong receiver. Even dating back to here, David Boston, they had Anquan Bolden and uh, Larry Fitzgerald. And now they got, what, DeAndre Hopkins? First and ten. <laughs> He's totally tearing that DB up. You got to take advantage of those things, though. Jake the Snake's throwing a good deep ball, too. Saints got a ton of speed, though. It seems like they're just... Anything I try in the 4-3, it seems like they find a hole. Gonna say, we're gonna go back to Deuce. We're getting like eight yards every time. He's got a hundred yards. Melissa, has there been any information on how badly he's hurt? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury. All those beers getting to you. What kind of beers are you drinking? Melissa, thanks for the update. Sounds like he'll be back very soon. They'll go with a pass. Another pick. This time it's Lassiter, the star safety. Someone's injured. Uh, I haven't heard anything about a Wilson trade, no. Plumber, get set. Push light. They'll go with a pass. Oh, I should have just threw it to Boston and saw it happen. Saw the double coverage. Well, that's what I get. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Switch sides here. Try to hit Jenkins on this corner route. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. He surveys the field, throws it. Oh man, with all that room, still. Still, that was a good effort to get there. The quarterback just threw it to the wrong spot. Melissa, anything new from the sideline? Aaron Brooks is out for the game. See who they bring in as backup. Boston single coverage again. Ah, oh, he's due up for a drop. I can't be too mad at that. Even though with just that one guy back there, I feel like he should have caught it. That's pretty, pretty much been my go-to on offense. We'll see how they do with the backup cue. He did the right thing. Concentrated and caught the ball. First and ten. Ball on their own twenty-four. Who is it? And the Saints line up with three wide receivers. Man in motion. Jake Delholm. Steps up into the pocket. Gets the pass off. 
He had me beat, and that was a horrible throw, so he's off to a rusty start. What's up, Infamous Smoke? Yeah, the D has come alive. Joe Horn. Man. I'm still trying to get the win. Del Holm just finally got one in there. But Joe Horn, he's got the receivers. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. Four man front this time. Oh, the safety. Oh, that was the linebacker. I think that was that 80 speed switch we made earlier in the game. Let's give, let's give him a little scare here. I'm bringing in a double blitz. Number 12, under center. Oh, nice juke there. Can't really get involved with McKinnon. I'm doing pretty horrible as a user middle linebacker. So they have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. The Saints use motion. Looking to pass. Passing right. Got the linebacker in there. There. What's up, Felipe? God bless you to you as well. And there's McAllister. That's a big loss. So I'm bringing in the blitzes, and um, it's paying off. At least through two. Here I got one safety back. The Saints using motion. Guess we got a DB on Smallworth. Surveying the field. Oh, I was right there. Can't jump. A display of good concentration by the receiver. He got popped right away. Catches like that regularly. He can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Arizona Cardinals ahead of the New Orleans Saints. 21 14. The teams are set for the fourth Tech quarter. Tech Super Bowl on Fight Cade. The deuce is certainly loose in this one. Ball on the 28 yard line. Yeah, that was defended well. That was just. Using motion. Not much I could do about it. That better not be caught. Big chance on that pass. That guy has a great arm. Sometimes he takes some chances and he throws into coverage. I don't like the man zone. Let's go with the sky blitz. So it's second and ten. Yep, yeah, it's my favorite Madden too. Man in motion. Oh no! See that tackling hurts. Starks records the tackle at the 13-yard line. Could have been a loss. Ball on the 13 yard line. Trying everything I can here. Number 12 sets up. There we go. Finally, not that much of a game. He's now over 100 yards rushing an outstanding uh, This one, you know, just been kind of using Boston in my full advantage. He's gonna throw. Throw it. Oh, my goodness. Horrible. You let touchdown. the tight end the burn you like that? Out of position on the score. Yeah, the defenders were looking one way while the play was going the other. 
All right, well, we got a good game. Tied, tied in the fourth. I got him on that third and long, defended it well, but he made that play and uh, able to get in the end zone. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. I have been playing some cover too. It just worries me with the speed that they have. He's looking for a chance for a good return. Almost tried to find a sliver in there. First and ten. Fantasy draft in Madden. After covering all of them, I could do that. Oh man, I didn't even have a chance. Right away. This offensive line is supposed to be good. Plumber under center. Quick drop. Looking for an option. Throws over to his right. Oh, come on. He just got a hand in there. Great play by getting a hand. The receiver just didn't have good position on him. I really don't like the routes that they have. It's really not. I really don't feel like they have a lot of good options. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Plummer sets up. Back to pass. Surveying the field. It's way too deep. After punt. Was the intended target. He tried to leave him a little too much. There's that accuracy. I mean, he's 82 accuracy. 88 throw power. He was bound to have one of those. So I just got to be up. That sack was huge. I mean, I was really just trying to throw a little swing pass, and I couldn't even get that off. Had no room for return on throwing for the fair count. That was a smart thing to do with a coverage team closing in for a big hit. It's first and ten. So hopefully the defense could come through with a big play here. Do have already a couple interceptions. Payton in motion. Quick drop. Gets the pass off. That was too easy. Nice connection. And so he was able to fire that one to his receiver, converting for a first down. He was either going to catch it or he was going to get knocked Corner blitz. I'm trying all sorts of little blitzes. He just finds the sliver. Wilson makes the tackle at the 33. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. I feel like I have the type of defense where I really can't stop them too well. I'm just looking for the big play. The team just doesn't have the speed and the secondary to stop the receivers, and the tackling is not good to stop the running game. So I feel do I do feel kind of handicapped on defense. Ball on the 33-yard line. Four man front this time, using motion. Yeah. McAllister looking for room. I could call the hot routes and stuff. I, I have played like that in the past, but I just kind of try to stick to the play I call and just see how it goes. It's enough work to just look through all your pass progressions, I feel like. There we go, big stop. Ryan gets right in there and brings him down. Carney heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. Uh, is he gonna hit it? Yes, so I gotta put a put a drive together with the Cardinals. So the drive ends not with a touchdown, but with a field goal. And the coaches, while no doubt happy for the three, will have to take a look at how to push it down the field. I can't. I have not felt like I've gotten to a rhythm on offense. I've really just been exploiting David Boston being the best receiver. 
He'll start upfield. On the team. Nothing happened to the in that one matchup. As they went three and out. I haven't really found the plays that I feel comfortable with. I feel like I'm still searching for those plays. So they have first and ten here. Plumber with four options at receiver. Looking downfield. Here we go, got one of Sanders. The defender brings him down at the 32 yard line. Two minute warning, all my timeouts. That isolation play didn't work last time. I don't know, this one takes a long time to develop. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He's looking for oh, the good thing he didn't line. pick it. Jones was the intended target on that pass attempt. One play down, three to go for this defense to stop this drive and get the win. Yeah, I mean, if I use the playbooks I'm comfortable with, I could really get into rhythms, but I'm using each playbook, and it's, it's different, so. Quick drop, looking downfield. Boston was the intended target. Man, so we're in four down territory now. Let's see if I can get the first. If they can hold for two plays, then they should be going home as winners. So it's up to them to decide how this game's going to end. Oh it's man, that was terrible. The defense came up big on that incompletion. This is where you have to clamp down. Don't Play have back, enough passing options. On. I just I don't have I really haven't found the go to play here besides going deep. Right. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on their own. Yeah, might as well just go for it. Plumber sets up. They'll go with a pass. Surveying the field. And the D was right there. That's why I don't really like those hooks. I like the, I like the deep outs, but they don't have them. So I could have just went deep. I threw it on the break, but the receiver was a defensive player was there. He's looking upfield. Showing good moves. Lasseter makes the tackle, and so that's number six. They've almost got this game won, but they still need to run it to make the defense yeah, use their timeouts. All the timeouts. Ball on the 36-yard line. <laughs> they line up in the I formation. The Saints using motion. Oh, that was a good play. He was dropped behind the line. Yeah, and if you want to talk about the most effective way to stop the run, yeah, I'm just going on four, the six and the ball. The heat. When you get penetration like that, it's very hard for the offense to get positive yardage. Five yards to go. Smith looking to turn it up. Searching for a seam. That run won't move them far. Right. The um, lineman just failed to open up any holes do? to run through or give them room field to run goal or punt. So we'll see if the field goal unit can come through here. It was a big stop. Left a lot of time on the clock. Carney looking to make a good kick here. What's up, Joe Horatio? This one will need to be perfect. Casual Gamer Joe makes an the appearance in the chat. Through. It's good. It's been a long time. Well, my strategy here is to get the ball and score a touchdown. I haven't had much success with anything else but throwing deep to David Boston. I haven't found the plays. I've looked to, for plays to try to get into a rhythm, so... We're going to call a hold. I'm definitely not over. 
Even Boston could break tackles too, so. It's first and ten. I'm not playing around anymore. Looking to throw. Surveying the field. Passing to his right. Boston was Come the on, you gotta the catch that. He overthrows the only one guy on that you. Was clearly overthrown. Second and ten. I think the throw was a little off. On their own 19. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. Gets the pass off. Pass interference. So he can't get it to him. There was no way he was gonna get to that one. They need to get a big chunk of yardage here. I'm trying to smoke them with Boston. I mean, we're getting single coverage. The double coverage, that's not good. It was tipped. I gotta try to get a first down or something else. That was a tough pass. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy pickup, but the offense has to believe that they can do it or they've already lost the game. The line has to give the quarterback some time so he can find an open guy and keep this thing going. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't like their playbook at all. I'm just looking for something to throw to the tight end and... Can't really find it. I just got horrible with Plummer as this game is going on. Looking for an option. Throws over to his right. He was open. He just didn't throw it on target. Well, that's going to do it. First and ten here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Made a big defensive stop to have a chance. <laughs> Give the control, Uncle Jimmy. They're threatening inside the twenty. I don't think I gave up on the run game too early. My fastest running backs at eighty four speed. I don't think I left the game plan at all. If you look back on the film, I probably threw deep to David Boston 12 to 15 times. It just worked early. And with the defense out of timeouts, this should be it after this play. Third and long. Plumber's not really fast enough to calculate scrambles with. Like, I had that one good one, but that was just kind of, it was kind of there. Yeah, it was a good game. And this game it was there for the, the taking. I just didn't have the best execution Arizona, down the stretch. Defense didn't hold up. So I was on a win streak on doing these videos, but this one's going to be a loss. I really feel like if I was using a different playbook with the Cardinals, I would have done way better. So I don't like their playbook. I wouldn't recommend it. The team's not bad overall. I don't like their defense as far as their tackling and DBs, but offensively they can get the job done. Yeah, I mean, you want to have an entertaining game. But all the routes I was looking to throw were on the outside, take a long time, and I was getting, getting sacked. Plumber was looking great early, and I really feel like he started missing. Horrible rating, completion Dell home came in and looked good on that one drive I mean they just didn't want David Boston to do any more damage he already had six for 221 and two TDs that one drop and only a 2.2 average for Jones yeah maybe next time you know That's what I don't like. I, I don't like going into the game where I feel like the, the play 
the plays handicap my ability to to perform. No, but David Boston was a stud for sure. So overall, I don't think the Cardinals are terrible. They're usable. Uh, especially you saw what Boston could do, even though it didn't come in a win. Plummer, you know, he could look great. He can be terrible at times. But, yeah, I just wouldn't use their offensive playbook. You should be fine. So that's going to do it for tonight's video. Uh, we'll be back soon. Well, Slapshot Sean's going to come on with the stream shortly here. And uh, we'll see who, who the next team is going to be. The Chargers. So, yeah, a little Drew Brees action. Something Sean was calling for the whole time, thinking he was on the Saints. So, the Char Chargers are the next team to take a look at. Saints were tough, you know. I couldn't really stop Deuce McAllister. They're fast receivers. I've heard of the game Desert Bus. It's terrible. Isn't that the game where it's like you're literally like driving a bus and it's all glitchy? I think the angry video game nerd did a, a video on that game, if I'm not mistaken. But thanks, everyone, for watching. Sean's going to be back on shortly with the stream and I'll be back soon. Take care. <laughs>